Let's move things to over to our KDK First Alert meteorologist Ron Smiley with the details on this and how it's something that we're seeing right now here in our area. Yeah, you know, if you remember an hour ago, I said it was the first time that we didn't see any tornado warnings and I pointed out the kink that was right there in those storms. And I said that's where we need to watch for for the next tornadoes right around the Mobile, Alabama area. And that's where we're seeing it. A tornado warning now in effect uh, going on there. This is still an active area. We have both flood advisory still over into Louisiana, parts of Mississippi, and then Mississippi has thunderstorm warnings. And then now we have those active tornado warnings going on along that line of storms down into southern parts of Alabama that we're looking at there. Hey, here at home, the good news for us is all rain showers that we're dealing with at this point. Most places seeing some rain, but we have some breaks in places like Allegheny, Washington, County. Your break is starting to come to an end in Greene County. And just like I said about 10 minutes ago, if you are in Allegheny County, you now have about 15 to 30 minutes to go until the next round of rain gets there. So you can kind of dodge the drops uh, most of the rain, at least in Allegheny County right now. Things will be changing our last round of rain that will last a couple of hours working its way or starting to work its way in right now. Steadiest, heaviest of the rain up along I-80 up into Venango County now moving out of Mercer County. It stretches down into parts of Butler County this morning also. And then we have that big break down there in places like Fayette County, Washington County, Allegheny and Westmoreland County. Again, these are communities you have upwards of about 30 to 45 minutes. It's a little bit less if you're in Allegheny County, a little bit more in Westmoreland County before this next round of rain associated with the cold front starts to work its way through. So we're not done just yet, even though it stops the raining where you might be right now. We're not done just yet with the rain. Model data is going to continue to show the rain sliding off to the east by about 10 11, maybe as late as noon. All the rains out of here. The rest of the day will be dry, but we will be dealing with some strong wind speeds. So we do have a wind advisory for Somerset and Bedford County. We talked about this yesterday. I actually have our winds topping 40 miles an hour. The National Weather Service mentions that we could see wind gusts upwards of 50 miles an hour, so a little stronger than my forecast. Still, either way it goes, it's going to be windy for the afternoon hours. Peak wind speeds and wind gusts will probably be impacting our region between around 12, maybe as late as 4 o'clock this afternoon. Temperatures this hour at 50 degrees. We're pretty close to our high uh, temperature today. We'll hover around 50 degrees for the next few hours. We'll then start to see temperatures dropping for the afternoon hours by 6 o'clock tonight. Temperatures already down to 39 and by midnight or technically just before midnight we will be down to 28 degrees. That'll be our low today. 42 your Thursday high, but we start off very cold down into the 20s in the morning hours. Friday high of 53 degrees, 51 on Saturday. Saturday also has our next chance for some rain. and We have another chance for rain coming again on Monday. Mostly right now, at least over the next week, most of what we're going to see it's going to be all rain.